All right, here we have uh, two endangered species. The first one that we're going to talk about is the club shell, which is state and federally endangered. And these here are the club shells. And uh, you'll notice on some of these club shells and a lot of mussels in general, they'll have uh, these little cases right here. These are actually made by an in insect uh, called a caddisfly. And as we know, caddisflies are a good source of uh, food for fish and sport fish. Um, we also have here the uh, state endangered pistol grip, um, which has some really beautiful sculpturing. This mussel is unique to the Shenango River and to the Ohio River near Pittsburgh. Uh, one of the reasons it's unique is that um, it has a very ornate shell with lots of sculpturing. And as the name implies, the shell is actually shaped like the handle of a pistol. Uh, this mussel is unique because it uses a flathead catfish as its host. And so if you're in a place like French Creek and you're wondering why there's no pistol grips, it's because there's no flathead catfish there. So this is one of the things that makes this critter pretty interesting and unique to the Shenango River. All of these mussels, including the endangered mussels, are important to uh, the watershed because they filter water. They help provide clean water for people as well as for other wildlife and for fish. Now, as mentioned previously, a significant number of mussels in Pennsylvania actually are on the federally and state threatened and endangered species list. And this is due to a very number of reasons that range all the way from historic water pollution in the early 1800s from things like tanneries and sawmills. Um, all the way up through the construction of navigable lock and dams on our major rivers like the Susquehanna and the Ohio, which have essentially broken a riverine habitat system down into a series of lakes um, that has led to the decoupling or the removal of the uh, host fish species, which is necessary for mussels to complete their life cycle. One of the other things that's very important about uh, another factor that has um, led to potential decreases in freshwater mussels is the presence of aquatic invasive species. Several of them, including these corbicula, which are also known as the Asiatic clam, have been found in waters in the United States and they directly compete with mussels for food resources. Um, but then some other uh, mussel species that are invasive, like the um, dresnids known as uh, zebra mussel or quagga mussel, have also been shown to have um, problems for freshwater mussels because they will they will uh, actually insist themselves on the mussel to the point where it prevents the native mussel from feeding. So all these have been major factors over the last century which have led to the impairment of mussels and also the decline in their populations pretty much throughout their range in North America.